Okay, guys and gals, about 10 seconds of the obligatory disclaimer. If you want to read the whole thing, just pause the video. Okay, everybody, let's take a look at the feeder and live cattle futures. These are the feeder cattle futures January 2022 contracts. Today ended at 164 and an eighth forward slash GF. Whoops, that's not an F. That's an F. Okay. Um, today was a green day, but overall we can see prices just continue to come down. Yeah. Approaching that 50. And the MACDs starting to cross over. So beginning to see a crossover there. SMI still pointing down. Okay. Got some divergent war warnings going on there. So this really hasn't changed. Um, even though today is a little bit of an update compared to yesterday. You know, obviously yesterday closed at 163.58. And today did close higher. Um, I don't see that there's really a change in direction yet, right? The trend is still down here. Okay, let's take a look at the monthly. Okay, you can ignore these cycles. As a matter of fact, before we do that, let's go back to the daily and just confirm that those cycles right there. <clears throat> let's see, do I have another drawing? No, okay. So, pretty sure the green ones are, yeah, the green arcs are the daily cycle. So the next cycle low is anticipated, looks like right around the 17th, 19th. So it's still in play. And it looks like, sure enough, it's, you can tell, I mean, it's just, it's amazing, right? The middle of this cycle is about, was about right here. And just within one day or two of that cycle, that was the 30th, and this red candlestick was the 29th. It's literally right on time. This is a very ideal cycle, by the way. Prices go up on the first half of the cycle, and then prices start coming down in the second half. It doesn't always work like that, but so far prices continue down on this side of the cycle. And we'll probably hit a low somewhere right around there, 1120. Okay, I mean December 20, sorry. Somewhere in that area. Between like the 17th and like Christmas time. So I would expect on the average prices to continue to come down here as we get closer and closer to Christmas. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at that monthly. Pretty flat. Slightly, slight bias upward, long term. Okay. There are some divergence warnings here, though. Okay. So we need to be we need to be aware of that 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 divergence warnings suggest potential weakness. But so far, prices still look okay on the monthly as far as upward price trend. The weekly, yeah, still pointing down here, starting to point down. Okay. It's like the MACD came down, wanted to try to cross over and go up, but it hasn't. It's just kind of flat right there. Okay, very small week. Yesterday was a pretty big down week. Today, uh, this week so far, it's a pretty small week. And we are, uh, what are we doing here? Is it Wednesday? It's, well, I'm sorry, it's Thursday. Right, where's the time gone? Okay, so that's a really small candlestick. Not, not a sign of a lot of strength there. Okay, let's look at the hourly. Well, one, two, three, four, five sessions in a row below the 50 hour. Okay. This does show, you know, strength hourly, but all that strength is below the 50 hour. So even though, you know, you've, you've had a session here that was up, it's still below this 50 hour. So what you're going to be looking for tomorrow is does feeder cattle prices come up, hit this resistance line and get rejected? Or does it bounce above it? That'll tell you a lot about 
um, prices moving forward. Right now, if I had to put my best guess on it, the hourly looks strong. I, I could see it breaking above it, but we'll have to let the market tell us what's going to do. Right now, that is at 164.7, let's call it 7.4. That's the, the resistance. You can see here it hit resistance and got rejected, right? So we'll have to wait to see what happens here. Okay, let's take a look at the live cattle. Let's go over to the daily. Wow. Lots of indications that live cattle want to continue to come down. And they have for the last week and a half or so going this way. Um, I think this was 12-12. Yeah, December 12th is the low. But it wouldn't surprise me if it, if it did the same thing as feeder cattle and just kept coming down all the way through like Christmas Eve or at least December 17th or something. But prices continue to come down. This is a very aggressive rising 50. So that, that's a good thing going on. But on the average, prices continue, continue to go down. I think they're going to continue to come down, especially on live cattle. They look like they really want to come down here. Okay. So we've gone from 141 all the way down to 137.77. As of today, I could see it getting below 137 in a... What is that? A, what's that price there? One... 137.50 yeah 137.50 yeah i could see it getting down into here i could see it definitely getting below 137 into 136 you know maybe even lower so for now this this price erosion continues let's look at the monthly here okay strong Long-term live cattle prices still look strong. This month is a little bit small, a little bit weak, but of course, you know, it's still still some time left in this month. Let's look at the weekly. The only thing, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of weakness there. These two are showing weakness. Got a divergence warning this week. Okay. So if that stays in place at the end of Friday, which is tomorrow, then I'd say watch out. Prices could erode a lot more. Okay. So on the weekly, things are starting to shape up to more price erosion for live cattle. Okay. Which, you know, I don't know, maybe that puts us over here somewhere. 130? Well, 135? I can see it happening. I can see prices coming down to 135. Okay, maybe even more. Okay, let's look at the hourly and wrap this thing up. So kind of like very similar to the feeder cattle, we've seen uh, live cattle not as much, but the last two, three, three sessions have been below the 50 hour. So that's definitely a sign of weakness. You can see it rolled over here um, after this big gap up, you know, more than what? Uh, almost two weeks ago okay on that new contract but um, yeah this well it's trying to get some legs under it trying to but it doesn't look very promising so again just like the feed just like the feeder cattle we want to see does it come up and get rejected off of this okay uh hmm it's not very strong though it is we this looks like it's bottoming and it could you know big daddy's trying to tell us it's going to turn and go up we're really going to wait to see tomorrow for both the, the the feeder and live cattle do they get rejected off this 50 hour or do they get above it if they get above it that's a little bit stronger and then you know maybe there's a little bit of strength could possibly be developed but right now this looks weak both of both the, the feeder cattle and live cattle look weak below the 50 hour. So tomorrow's going to be a big tell to see if it gets rejected or does it just even stay down here, which would be even weaker, okay? Everybody follow me? If it stays away from the 50 hour, that's real weakness. If it comes up and gets rejected, that's you know, kind of typical weakness. If it gets above it, you know, that'll be a nice pleasant surprise, okay?
All right, that's it for now, everybody. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give me a th thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that little bell to be notified of all the videos I put them out. Consider joining the premium membership, $5.99. It's a really good deal. A lot of people making good money off the premium membership. I cover crude. I cover gold. I cover wheat. I cover oats. I cover natural gas. And occasionally I put out trade alerts for $5.99, guys. That's like $72 for the whole year. Okay, it's extremely again inexpensive. I did that on purpose so everybody could afford it, okay? Talk to you all real soon again next time.